All right, what's up, everyone? Valley Apran, as always. Anyways, wanted to talk something uh, in this video that a lot of people are thinking of. They're thinking that when Pulse Chain comes out, that because Richard has talked about it starting off at zero, you know, these galaxy brains, I say that facetiously, um, they think that there's going to be some opportunity to buy cheap hacks. And Richard said it before, and if people are listening a little bit more closely, not to, not to uh, attack too much, but the point is this, right? The T-share rate itself, that's going to be directly copied over. It's not going to start from zero. The T-share rate, whatever it is, at the block height of the snapshot, that's what the Pulse Chain main net is going to start off with, okay? So, sorry about that. Let me mute this. So, that's the first narrative, right? The second narrative is when it comes to the chain itself, right? The airdrop being a, a $0 value airdrop. That is for tax implications and tax reasons that Richard is doing that to, you know, bless all the, the hexagons and the people getting it. But the point is, is just because it starts at zero, Richard had mentioned that when it's starting and trading at zero, like you're not going to be able to touch that market. That's what the automated market maker bot is going to do is it's going to pretty much scoop up the liquidity, um, you know, mint some extra pulse as well to balance that liquidity. And then it's pretty much going to balance out the ratios. And honestly, if we're seeing a direct copy of the liquidity pools of everything else, then in, in Wendy's and Tendies and uh, Motley were talking about this too the other day, which I wholeheartedly agree with which just goes to prove my point as well. But, you know, the, the price is going to start out, in my opinion, as the same price that Hex is once the snapshot happens. And so the only way that you could ever think of getting cheap P Hex is if Hexicans were dumb enough or people that were speculating were dumb enough just to buy Hex for the snapshot and then say sell it, say sell it all. That's fine. But what percentage out of 100% of people do you think are going to do that? Maybe, in my guess, maybe three, you know, maybe three to five at most. And so just this, this, this narrative that like people that missed, you know, getting in on the OG uh, days and stuff like that for the adoption amplifier, the narrative that you're going to be able to get like cheap P-Hex again and stuff like that, it's great, but it's just like what a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, I'm not going to say it, but it's just like what a lot of people do, right? Where you try and give them like a false sense of hope that, oh my God, you know, I didn't get in at the, at the beginning. And guess what? This might be like that second saving grace and second coming. And in my opinion, I don't think that's true, right? I already gave you the reasons why. I already told you that for a fact, the snapshot of the T-share rate, that's never going to go down. It's never going to start from zero. Um, that's going to be copied over directly. And so will all the liquidity pools, stuff like that. And so... The only different thing is what the free market does decide to do once we're allowed to, you know, trade uh, on the Pulse Chain network itself. But once we're allowed to trade on the Pulse Chain network itself, that, um, you know, that zero value is not going to be there anymore. And you're already going to have the liquidity pools and, and market maker stuff, like I said, uh, re-ratioed. And so that's the only thing that I want to say, right? Because at the end of the day, knowledge is power. And if you're getting someone's hopes hopes up falsely, I say this because I see a lot of people in my, my comments recently saying, oh, I'm just going to wait. You know, I'm not going to buy Hex right now because, what is it, 19 cents, 18.1 uh, cents. I'm not going to buy it because it's, you know, it's under 20 cents. I'm going to wait for Pulse, and I think that that's going to be a better opportunity. And it's like, well, do you know how quick the price can run up from here and the actual fork itself and do you know what the price can actually start off at because like i said richard said that he doesn't want cheap hex anywhere whether that's on pulse chain or on the ethereum network and so it's just something i want to educate people on because you might be thinking that you're doing yourself a service and playing it conservatively and that's what happens with everything right like oh if everyone thinks one thing is going to happen usually the bigger players or whoever is actually in control will make make the opposite happen and so for people that are waiting it's like i think the reason I'm passionate about this and making this video is because I think a lot of people currently are missing out on opportunity, right? They're missing out on opportunity to either buy Hex or to stake Hex. And when you stake it, the actual amount of Hex that it costs 
for the T-share rate that you're getting, which is the mechanism that generates the interest, that mechanism, that cost of the, the T-share in HEX never goes down. It only goes up. And so these people thinking that, oh, yeah, I'll just wait until it launches. And well, when the hell is it going to launch? You know, testnet's already been delayed like three, three weeks. So what, do you think it's going to launch in a couple months from now? Okay, well, say that's the case. What is the T-share rate going to be then in HEX? And then you got to think, what the hell is the price going to be then in, in a couple months when it launches? And so I just want to dispel this thinking with my opinions and my experience. And I gave you the reason why, because I think a lot of people, I mean, I, I, saw, I saw people not get in the HEX because they thought it was a scam. And now they're thinking that, oh, this is the better option. Let me just not stake. Let me just not buy HEX because this is the guaranteed better option. And anything that you think is a guarantee is, is usually not. And so the last thing that I'll leave you with, because this is supposed to be a little short clip, hope everyone's liking this. I also took off the pop filter, like I said, from someone else's recommendation. So hopefully it's a little bit better since there's a little foam thing. But the, the point is, is I don't want to see people get wrecked. I want to see people prosper. And some of the OG hexagons kind of know what's going on a little bit more and follow Richard's content maybe a little bit more because I know he's made it very clear. Not only does he not want cheap hex, uh, not only does he not want cheap hex anywhere, but that, you know, once the stuff gets bought back up, which is what's going to happen, no one else is going to be able to touch that, right? Richard's got bots or scripts that are going to be able to buy up that liquidity and redistribute it to, to even out everything. So that's all I want to say, um, you know, for the people that, that think that you missed the boat, like, stop with that thinking. You know, what kind of pleb ass thinking is that? You know, you think that, oh, I, I missed the boat because Hex went up, you know, 3,800x and there's so many millionaires in Hex and so many people Hex flexing. And it's almost like a player hating where it's like, there's so many people Hex flexing that I don't have that option yet. And it's like, well, hey, you know, those people that were Hex flexing were there for the past two years. And so that's all I want to say. I just don't want to see people, you know, get screwed over thinking that they're going to get a better deal. And the, the last thing that I'll say, the very last thing I'll say is what I've mentioned a lot and multiple times when it comes to risk management, right? If you think you're going to get the cheaper opportunity by just waiting for PHEX, well, in my opinion, I personally, if I was in that position, had that mindset, I would hedge my bet with a 50% stake or 50% buying HEX. That way you have it liquid and that way you have it copied over to Pulse Chain because you don't know what the price is going to start off at. You don't know how quick that freaking price is going to skyrocket. How many people are going to swap from ETH to HEX or from uh, from ETH HEX to pull chain HEX? You don't know what that's going to do to the pricing. So whenever you're not sure about something like that, it's, it's a hot day. Whenever you're not sure about something like that, uh, it's I've learned for myself to hedge my bet by doing 50% of the position or portfolio principle and you know putting it on the other side of the bed. That way you're not like all in one way or another way, you kind of like win no matter what. And so whether you win with that 50% and the other 50% doesn't do as well, well, guess what? Maybe that 50% that you did win with makes up for the loss of the other. So that's all I wanna say. Hope everyone's doing well. Just wanna challenge people to be able to think for yourself and not think that like, you know, you just got here and like now you have this pipe dream fantasy that you'll ever be able to get millions of hex for you know, and Ethereum and stuff like that. It's just, those were the old days and this is a new paradigm and, and you know, Penny Hex, never going to happen again, in my opinion. Tencent Hex, never going to happen, in my opinion, again. So just want to uh, give everyone the information that you can have to arm yourself and to be financially successful and financially stable because the last thing I'll say, I always say this, but the very, very last thing that I'll say is every single day that you're not staked, you're literally missing out on a freaking killer ass interest. And per T-share, it's about like a 5.66 um, hex return on each T-share. So you're missing out already if you're just sitting with your thumb up, you know, on the sidelines and not doing anything about it. You're missing out on a lot of interest that's probably not gonna be here for the whole lifetime of hex. This, this is the early adopter phase and it's supposed to incentivize people to get in early with the higher interest. So hope everyone's doing well. And until uh, next time.